right, baby. Here we go. Here we go. Paul to J.R. Smith. Paul to J.R. Smith. to Thompson. With the rock, it's Chris Paul. To Adams. Curry into the front court. Leads a bucket. the basketball down five and they call the foul careful there Jay Ed you can't lunge like that <laughs> to Curry Here's Paul. Brings it up the floor. Thompson to bring it into the front court. 14 10 the score. Paul with it up top. Looking to make something happen. Too much contact and three throws coming. Trust me, you want to avoid early foul trouble. Take that one as a warning. into the front court. Down six. <laughs> Nothing going here on that drive. Screen coming, and the rebound belongs to Golden State. Curry to Dylan Brooks. Ryan Anderson sends it away. And that'll get out of bounds. Last touch by the Thunder.
Chris Paul controlling the offense. To Adams. And the rebound comes down to Green. Curry to Dylan Brooks. Paul across the timeline, trailing by 11. Knocked loose. Warriors have it. Sizing up Draymond Green. One quarter down in this deciding game seven. Jay and I back with more after this. This is the first round of the West playoffs on EA Sports. Jay Williams with you as we get things started here in the second quarter. The ball in the hands of Kyrie Irving gets it in the right corner. Thompson. Draymond Green. Three for three in this first half. No doubt about where that one was headed. Across midcourt, it's Schroeder. His guys currently down by 13. Gilchrist Alexander to Schroeder, leaving no doubt, slams it down. I don't think I could do that on a five-foot rim. I can, because that's my only choice. <laughs> it goes down. You normally don't see that, but that's the type of thing that keeps shooters in the league for a long time. Every once in a while, they venture into the paint. To Gilchrist Alexander. Taken down by Randall. Thompson to bring it into the front court. His team on top by 13. Easy pat to the rim. Attack mode isn't a switch that you can just turn on and off. He needs to do more of that. We need to see him penetrate, get into that lane, and create. Ryan Anderson defended by Draymond Green. Into the front court, it's Irving. The lead is 15. Yes, Clay Thompson. Oh, the defense has to adjust. He's four for four to start this one. Well, they have such great flow to their offense this evening. The ball isn't sticking to one player individually. It's moving around the perimeter, and it's zipping. They're playing with a special cohesiveness. To Schroeder. That one's in the 15th row. Huge denial. New blood coming in for both sides. Schroeder. Here's CP3. And the rebound grabbed by the Warriors. Count the basket. Not always the first option, but his number was definitely called on that one. OKC ball. Schroeder to Paul. Here comes the screen. Steph Curry pins it. That's why a rim protector is a necessity in this game. Nothing going here on that drive. To Julius Randle. Thunder have it. 
knocked loose. Warriors come away with it. Come on, let's dig in. Let's really build this lead. To Curry. Oh, Jay, he commands the paint this time down. Curry, obviously the greatest shooter we've ever seen. Yeah, I said it. But he's so good at driving and using his body to shield off the contact. Teams tweaking their lineups. Here come some changes. Paul sizing up Draymond Green. To Adams. No, oh, I missed a short one there. Tough looking shot there. Still gets it to go down. And like we've seen so many times, this is what you have to worry about with the Warriors. When they get on a run like this, they can put the game to bed in a hurry. To Paul. Nothing going here on that drive. Paul. Ooh, Chris Paul. Tough shooting. Only two for six after that make. Ed, all this talk I heard over the summer, what about CP3's hamstring? Will he be able to get back his first step? Will he still have it? <laughs> there you go. Oh, nice find for the basket. Uh, I'm not sure that wasn't an offensive foul, but take it when you can get it. With the rock, it's Chris Paul. Green, 4-2. That's a strong finish. Regardless of contact, finishing strong is key. Paul into the front court. Down a bundle. To J.R. Smith. Nothing going here on that drive. Paul. To Adams. Paul. That's usually one that he'll knock down. Draymond Green. Can't ask for much more. He's perfect. Five for five from the field. Raw and key from three quarters court. We are at halftime in game seven. Let's get you to our NBA Live studios in Orlando and hand it over to Jalen Rose for our EA Sports halftime report. Jalen. Jalen here with your halftime report. The Warriors entered the locker room at halftime with a significant lead. It was their playmaking, the way they gave each other scoring opportunities. That really impresses me. I love seeing unselfish basketball like that. Have a look at the leading scores for the Golden State Warriors. The Thunder may be in the building, but they did not show up for this game. At this point, it's all about pride and mental toughness. A comeback is not impossible, but it's also not likely. Have a look at the leading scores for the Oklahoma City Thunder. Game drive. Field goal. As long as there's time left on the game clock, no lead is truly safe. They just have to be ready to seize every opportunity in the second half. Player 
of the half. Steph Curry has been making the competition look silly on the defensive end. And with that, I'm sending it back to Ed and Jay to bring you the rest of the game. It's Golden State basketball. Oh, too much contact. Free throws on the way. I can't believe I'm about to say this about an NBA team because this is what I say to my grammar school team. But just because a team is down on the scoreboard doesn't mean you stop playing hard and smart. You really have nothing to lose but really good habits to gain. And gets both to drop at the line. Now Paul with the basketball. His guys down big. Oh, highlight moves. Tough to do with the defender all over you. Here comes the screen. 4-3. Not that time. He misses. Curry to bring it up. His guys lead here early stages third quarter. Nerlens Noel able to recover with the block. Sent a message on that one, Ed. The Thunder have the possession. Paul takes aim at Steph Curry. Deep two there, won't go. Steph Curry guarded by Ryan Anderson. Yes, Clay Thompson. The defense is really going to have to start paying attention. He's five for five for the field. This is where I go back into player mode. If the dude starts to try to have 40 points on me, I'm going to foul out. I'm going to start hitting him in places he's not used to being hit. I'm trying to do anything to throw him off this game. Coach is going to shift gears and adjust his matchups. Knock loose. Paul. Smith to Paul. Beyond the arc for three. Tough shot. Well defended. And big time coaching strategy by the staff right there. Utilizing their bench, keeping fresh legs on that shooter consistently throughout the course of the game. Oklahoma City ball. To Paul. On a bad pass. Going to be taken away by the Warriors. Over to the right side. To Irving. Kyrie Irving. Not a busy night, but effective. Two for two. Everybody in the building, including myself, thought that pass was going somewhere else. Fool me once? Okay. But you're definitely not fooling me twice. To J.R. Smith. It's Paul for two. He buries it off the step back. When the ball's in his hands, we all knew what was going to happen. Thompson to bring it into the front court. His guys holding the big lead. Finishing inside the paint on that one. Mm, I remember my high school coach said, one man can't beat five. Well, I'm telling you right now, he lied. I'm watching it happen in person. He was smothered and still gets it to go down. Clearly not afraid of the spotlight here because that was not an easy look. Steph Curry guarded by CP3. That'll be out of bounds. Last touch by the Warriors. Time for some new personnel into the game. Here's Paul. Brings it up the floor. Count the basket. A lot of contact. No foul. Did you see the way that dribble freed him up? It created so much space. I did, but the defender didn't. Irving to Green. Shot. 
Shot from in close, no good. Tough make through traffic. I was expecting the dish there, but way to fake that one and lay that one in. Paul with it up top. He'll run the offense. Smith to Paul. The drive, right to the basket. Oh, oh, he just blocked that shot out of bounds. Jay, they're lucky they get the ball back. Looks like some substitutions are coming on in. Adams. Paul against the former Cougar. Gets a look, can't hit. Going to launch, beyond the arc. Bizarre shot right there. Shot's no good. Paul, into the front court. Looking to make something happen. Has a chance. Step back jumper. Ooh, I'm telling you from experience, his teammates will never let that one down. Kyrie Irving controlling the offense. Baseline drive, a lot of contact, no whistle. Play Thompson sends it away. Nothing going here on that drive. Nice finish at the rim. Sometimes you hear people give all these fancy breakdowns, tell you all these different things they can do. That was just plain old, simple, bully basketball. Muscled his way through the lane. Here comes the screen. Just inside the arc. At the buzzer. And scores on the step back. There's the buzzer. Three quarters complete. The Warriors enjoying some breathing room right now. The Thunder have it to start the fourth quarter, and this has not been one of their better performances to this point. They've been out of sorts all afternoon. And one of the most difficult challenges we have in this life is when we bring our personal life into our workspace. It looks like they were never in the game to begin with. Oh, and we have a five-second violation. That's just a blatant foul. Maybe he's trying to make a statement. Paul. He missed his first four from downtown. He finally gets a three to go. I'm going to tell you what every shooter thinks after he misses four in a row. One has to go in eventually. Steph Curry, guarded by Schroeder. Count it. No and one. There was some contact there. And I have so much admiration for guys that continue to hunt their shot. They're playing the second half like it was the first five minutes of the ball game. Those natural born leaders are guys that will consistently lead your team to the promised land. And too much contact. Welcome to New Age basketball. You blow on me. That's a foul. Paul defended by Thompson. Has a look. And scores. Nice move, Jay. Ooh, cool, calm, and collective. The three C's. His handles are effortless. Steph Curry against Schroeder. And scores. Strong take. Man, that may not have been a gimme, but that layup at the rim definitely chips away at the pride of the defense. Nothing going here on that drive. Knocks it down from mid-range. Can we all just agree that that handle is next level? But that jumper is wet, too. Mm. It's Curry controlling the offense. 
That is great vision to set it up. Takes it right to the rim. A lot of contact there, but they say no foul. You know, it reminds me out of a story a legendary coach once told me. He said, if you ever get in a fight, you're not going to hit somebody with an open hand, correct? You'll probably break a finger. But if you hit somebody with a fist, what is that? That's five fingers working collectively together as one. That's how you deliver a knockout punch, and that's what we're seeing tonight. Gets it to go. Didn't have many choices there. Let's it fly. Might have had an extra dribble or two there, but he got the shot he won. Curry to Green. Perfect feed to set up the basket. Sometimes when the players find that flow, nobody else needs to touch the ball. He's in the zone by himself. To Paul. Trying to cash in. Paul's shot won't go down. To Thompson. Count the bucket for two. Clay isn't usually a guy that goes to the bucket. He usually pulls up for threes, but that was a nice, easy lay-in right there. Nothing going here on that drive. Oh, they call him for the foul. Ed, you can't lunge like that. The opposing coach is going to counter, make some changes of his own. It on the catch and shoot. It's easy to get lost in the chaos of the game down the stretch, but great awareness by the shooter to get those toes right behind the three-point line. Steph Curry picked up by Paul to Thompson. Lays it up and in. It just seems like nobody can stop him but him. Once he's found his offensive swag, that boy's deadly. Here's Paul controlling the offense. Has a chance. Shot by Paul. No good. I just love where this takes you into the psychological battle as a player offensively. Was that a great contest, or did you just miss the shot? But now you have me thinking about that the entire next possession. Took it down the lane, but it's no good. Down to Green. Slams it down. Well, we got a chance to firsthand watch something be created. I think we just watched an epidemic of passing. I've never seen something like this before. It was so contagious, everybody started to do it, and it ultimately led to the other team's demise. If that's an epidemic, sign me up. And he's going to the free throw line. Okay, now we're on the home stretch, and you got a big lead. Don't let your opponent back in this game by giving up extra possessions. Oops, he missed the first one. Second one goes. It's a one of two trip. Possession lies with Golden State. Steph Curry guarded by CP3. He gets it. Big shout out to the athletic trainer for this team. It's obvious you've been doing all the preparation required of your team in the weight room in the offseason. Flex on them a little bit. Here comes the screen. Paul to Adams. Steven Adams with the slam. And when you get your prescription, you take your medicine and you call it a day. Curry. And the finish at the rim. This type of game needs to be celebrated. This is the type of culture that is fostered when you play with unselfish players. When you give up a little bit of yourself and you make your teammate look great, that's the difference between winning and losing. So when you see these guys smiling, when you see them giving each other high fives, that's because of the energy that was created from the pass. Pass is one of the most brilliant things we have in this game. Curry. Tough looking shot there. Still gets it to go down. This type of game needs to be celebrated. This is the type of culture that is fostered when you play with unselfish players. When you give up a little bit of yourself and you make your teammate look great, that's the difference between winning and losing. 
So when you see these guys smiling, when you see them giving each other high fives, that's because of the energy that was created from the pass. Pass is one of the most brilliant things we have in this game. And the finish on the nice step through. There is no recovery yet, in particular if the defender does not stay on balance. Nothing going here on that drive. Here comes the screen. Paul, defended by Draymond Green. That misses with two seconds to go. It's the Warriors who get the victory. And they're moving on to the second round of the NBA playoffs. For my partner Jay Williams and our entire crew, I'm Ed Cohen. This has been the NBA playoffs on EA Sports. Find out more at easports.com. Until next time, good night. The Warriors are one step closer to a championship with today's win. Still, the journey is far from over. They've got to stay focused. They want this journey to end with the Larry O'Brien trophy in their hands. What you see here is how the majority of the points were scored for the Golden State Warriors. The Thunder were eliminated from the playoffs today, and I'm sure there are no words that can make them feel better right now. Making the playoffs can be considered a success, but that's probably not what they want to hear right now. What you see here is how the majority of the points were scored for the Oklahoma City Thunder. Game track. Assist. The Golden State Warriors were very impressive in the way they shared the ball, giving each other the opportunity to not just take good shots, but great shots. That's what I believe made the difference for them in this game. That being the great assist. Player of the game. Steph Curry put up the kind of points that made him an easy choice for this award. He couldn't be stopped. And when he realized he was in his zone, he just took it to another level. the top plays of the game. Number two. Number one. On behalf of ESPN on EA Sports, I'm Jalen Rose, and it's been our pleasure to present you with some NBA basketball.